Okay, one of the strongest advocates for medical marijuana here in Florida is now leaving the state because she still can't get what she needs to take care of her very sick son. The now's Nicole Grigg explains what finally pushed her out. He loves these pictures. With only days left before leaving Florida, Renee Petro packs up memories of her and her son. In a blink of an eye, my healthy child was literally taken away from me. Her son Brandon diagnosed eight years ago with a rare form of epilepsy called fires. Nothing, nothing will stop it. Since then, she let us inside her home. What's going on? Through the worst of times to get a glimpse into his diagnosis. <laughs> We were also there for the best of times. Yay! Is going to continue. She helped lead the way for medical cannabis, fighting for access for her own son. Absolutely not enough. And there are still so many hiccups here in Florida. True Leave Medical Marijuana Treatment Center has worked endlessly to find the best strain of THC for Brandon, but they need more access for research. We have to understand how, how much, when, how little. Here in Florida, Renee says there's too many limits. There's not consistent access to products or how a patient can administer it. The cost is also too high. Because of this, Renee is stopping cannabis treatment and she's moving to Virginia for a different road to recovery with an inpatient care. It is a place where Brandon will receive the medical and behavioral medical aspect of his ailments. And it's a final interview to let other parents of sick children know, don't give up. I hope to inspire others to never give up hope, to always search for answers. For the now, I'm Nicole Gregg.